Hello, friends. Welcome back. Back by popular demand, it's more Alliance War! Hooray! Today we're taking on XTUM. We've faced these guys each of the last two seasons. This is a bit of a rubber match for us because we beat them last season. They beat us the season before. So we're going in with Void and Namor and Warlock today. Uh, going to be a heavy Warlock uh, war, as it were. But before we get to that, we're going to start off with uh, this Hood on Long Distance Relationship. Going with Void. This node also has Tyranny, which doesn't affect either of these champions since they're both villains. Um, this Hood was being a little stingy, if I remember correctly. Um, so really, you know, the objective in these first two fights is really to, to end them with as much health as possible. Uh, for the most part, this first fight anyway is almost always a diversity play, uh, whether it be Hood. Uh, sometimes you'll see Thing or Quake on here. Since they're heroes, they don't gain power, and they are uh, a little tougher to kill without power. Uh, but the vast majority of uh, wars that I've participated in is uh, you know, a champ like Hood. So. so you can see I'm keeping topped up from willpower with the, uh, the weakness debuffs that are procking on me periodically. Other than that, it's just cycling through his special one. Uh, with Hood, you want to keep away from the special two. Uh, not only is it, I think, impossible to pull your days, but then he goes invisible for a little bit. So, finish with a nice yellow bar there. So, you know, good start. I didn't die in my first fight this season, which is just great. <laughs> All right, next up we have uh, a Void on uh, long distance relationship special lock one. This fight is awful. Uh, if you fought the Void, uh, what is it on? Is it a variant that has this node? Variant 3, I forget. I think there might be one in uh, 6.3 now, too, with long distance relationship. You, you know how painful Void is on this node. And you add in a special lock 1, which gives an, uh, yet another debuff on you. Uh, it just makes fighting him really, really difficult. So uh, add a little bit of attack, a little bit of health, uh, and an invulnerability boost just in case. So the objective here, uh, as is the previous times uh, I fought Void on this node, is really to just keep your distance. Um, you can't, You really have to worry about keeping up your combo because if he hits you at any point, then it's going to take you know a fresh ten hits to remove any one of his specific debuffs on you. Um, keeping your distance allows you to uh, the weakness debuffs to fall off you quicker. Um, if I'm attacking into him, it's okay because I'm going to be returning uh, the degen from his ability to him via Namor's hydrokinetic armor. Um, so really, you know, this is about using your special one. As soon as you get it, uh, to get that power luck debuff off of you, um, and then just, you know, try not to get hit. Um, there was, you know, I've been playing around with, with, uh, a different way to avoid, or, or not avoid, evade, um, avoid special one. Uh, and you can avoid the first blast, and then you can actually dash back in, uh, and then dodge the little, like, energy ball that he throws. Um, it's risky, uh, but it enables you to punish the special one with almost 100% uh, confidence. So I didn't try it here. Um, again, it's, it's, it's pretty risky. Um, so we, we didn't lose too much health in that fight, and I don't think I need Namor for another, another fight, so I really just need to get out of there with a full AB, which I did, so I'm happy about that. All right, so up on Tier 2 now, <clears throat> we've got a Sabretooth here on uh, Vigor and Recovery. And my uh, Warlock this season is starting off at max rank, max sig, max power, max destruction. Warlock has quickly become one of my maybe top five favorite champions. Um, and this offseason, I actually made a concerted effort to use him uh, on this upper part of the path instead of Void. Uh, I wanted to see what kind of matchups uh, with these healing nodes he was good for and what kind of nodes he was not good for. Um, I had a, a buffet Captain Marvel uh, that he absolutely demolished. Uh, and previously, you guys know that when, when I see a Captain Marvel on that buffet node, uh, that pretty much is... is you know, bring Symbiote Supreme just for that fight and, and nuke the crap out of her. However, uh, Warlock handles that fight so much more easily than Symbiote Supreme does, and handled the Sabretooth just as easily. Uh, so, <clears throat> I've mentioned this last season, there is a bug with iOS that causes screen recordings to fail uh, without warning, without reason, 
it's very irritating. So my next two fights on the top here were actually uh, lost. Uh, so there was a domino on Buffet, uh, which I, I got down. You know, of course, I have a good fight against Domino, and the recording is gone. So uh, she evaded me twice and almost killed Warlock. I took, like, four potions, I think, to heal Warlock up to full. And then I had a, uh, a Brie Larson on the Buffet node, which uh, I mentioned a minute or two ago. Uh, Warlock just slaughters her. I think she got maybe one special off. Um, because I run Resonate, uh, this person was healing from willpower, uh, and then being, you know, thus being power drained and degen pretty much the whole time. So. All right, we've moved up to Boss Island. We've got a saber tooth on uh, recovery strike back, and I'm actually going to go in with Void on this for two reasons. Uh, the first is that I absolutely was going to use Warlock on the next fight versus Sinister, and I didn't want to have to heal him up uh, if I had taken a hit by accident or if I had taken too much chip damage. So I knew that Void could take this fight uh, just from a, a heal counter perspective. Uh, but more importantly, uh, Void also counters the power gain from the strike back node. As long as I have those petrifies up, um, I can launch my specials with impunity, and I don't have to worry about pushing Saber Tooth to a special two. Uh, so right there, I take uh, I take a special, a couple bleeds on me. Uh, they're doing uh, you know a, a nice chunk of damage. Uh, Void has one of the highest health pools in the game. Um, and you can see that did, you know, what, 30, 35% of my health uh, in that special attack alone. So, got the Petrifies up, so as I just mentioned, uh, we can now throw off specials without fear of giving him too much power. And from here on, it, it pretty much just becomes a normal fight. Uh, he's going to be heal blocked, as you can see. He's got his passive heals going, but there's no healing happening, in fact. Uh, as soon as we got that second debuff up after Fear of the Void, his healing will start to be reversed since I run 3 out of 3 in despair. So you can see his health is just, you know, ticking away faster and faster. The numbers can't even keep up. <laughs> the game can't even keep up with the numbers. So. And uh, I didn't need Void for another fight, so uh, um, all I needed, again, was him to survive this, and I got that full AB, so pretty happy about that. All right, last fight for me this war. This is a Mr. Sinister on the debuff immune and crit resistance node. This is actually a pretty poor placement for Sinister because since he has, the node gives him crit resistance, it's like 40%, uh, his regen almost never actually works because it only works normally when he's attacked with a crit. Um, so that also actually makes uh, Warlock not that effective of a counter to him on this node. Uh, because Warlock really depends on regen uh, to activate his degen and his power drain here. Um, and I'm also losing the nice armor break from the special two. So um, I quickly realized that this was going to take a, uh, a good amount of aggressive play um, to get this fight down before uh, timing out. Um, I didn't boost up as you can see. I probably should have, but I had already boosted up twice in this war, and I really didn't want to do it a third time I could avoid it. Um, so you'll see me uh, play super aggressive here, a lot of backdraft intercepts. Um, for his part, he cooperates pretty well uh, in terms of throwing off his specials almost immediately. Um, there's very little baiting. Um, I think that if I had um, if I had to waste a little bit more time baiting specials, uh, I definitely would not have been able to solo this fight. So. So we're about a uh, minute 45 left, and he is close to half health, so I'm cutting it close in terms of time, uh, but I'm still on track to, uh, to, to get the fight down. Uh, I've got two infections up, close to a third, uh, but as I said before, you, you can see his... I don't know that his regen has procced a single time um, this fight so far. I, I've been looking for the green regen text, and I, I haven't seen it at all, so... Uh, and again, that's that's really due to the crit resistance. So um, I think I think pretty much any champ can probably take Sinister on this node because he if, if he doesn't have his regen going, he really doesn't have anything going on for him. His specials are easy to avoid, um, easy to punish, uh, and you really count on him as a defender that survivability. Uh, and if he doesn't have that, he's really just not a effective defender. So I think uh, you know. On this node, Warlock probably isn't the best. Um, I'm, I think Namor actually might have been a better choice here because Namor's damage comes from his massive attack from the Furies rather than uh, you know a massive crit like a, like a Corvus or a Ghost. Um, 
but I really didn't want to take the chance, so, you know, I, I'm comfortable using Warlock, I'm comfortable using Nathan too, actually, you know. Um, there we go, Sinister down, 20 seconds left, so, you know, not too close, but, uh, you know, we're not in butthole clenching territory, but, uh, yeah, so. And that was all for my contributions to this war. So uh, congrats to XTUM. They did take the rubber match. I expect we will see them again. Uh, if not this se season, we'll see them again next season. So uh, pretty good war for me overall. I, I did have to heal up Warlock after the Domino fight, but uh, you know it was worth it not to get a, a death against her. Starting off the season 0-1, not ideal. Um, I'm becoming a little less interested in you know where we place as far as uh, the end of the season. Um, you know the push for platinum two, the the resources and the stress that are required um, to get to that level. Uh, you know the rewards just aren't worth it. So you know if we finish platinum three, which is in all likelihood is what we're going to do, uh, that's perfectly okay with me. Uh, and even if we drop to platinum four, uh, you know that's that's cool with me too. So yeah, that's about it. So uh, back for another season. Uh, hope to have you with me for the long run. Uh, lots more Warlock gameplay to come. Uh, I've uploaded a couple of Warlock videos uh, this past week, so go check them out if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.